number one in Springfield at six. This is KRIP TV 13, broadcasting live from atop Hangman Alley Hill. Going green with battery powered wind up five watt transmitter with Greg Ship at the controls. And I'm Peter McDermott. This is Springfield News at six. Okay, we're cutting right away to Tom because we have some breaking news tonight. Uh, Tom, take it away. Yeah, we have some uh, news. Uh, you've heard of Michael Vick and all his uh, downfalls with football and all his, his uh, extracurricular activities. But he's been turning it around, and we've got news today that he is now the new spokesman for PETA. Uh, okay. The People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, and uh, we'll uh, we'll have to get some more information on that and get back to you on that. National spokesman for PETA. Well, that is big, huge breaking news uh, this evening, and um, we're gonna. You'll have more details later on that. I'll be. I'm waiting here on the newsroom, checking, waiting for some more stories. All right. So stay tuned. We'll have more on that breaking news, and we're gonna cut right now to Adam. Adam, what do you have for us tonight? Uh. What? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Adam, what are you what are you smoking there? You don't you can hold that in front of the camera. We you know, this is uh California. Yeah. No, this is this is just a cigarette. All's fair. Now, is that one of those um, faux cigarettes that no tar, no nicotine that looks real? No. 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 It's I'm actually dying a real, as we actually a real cigarette. It's yes. Well, see, it that's the difference sad. between Springfield News at 6 and any other newscast is here we can actually smoke cigarettes during the show. So um, that's that's really interesting. Now let's cut. Well, We've got Christopher. Why didn't somebody tell me? Christopher just came in to the newscast here. Uh, this is a live newscast. Christopher, do you have some breaking news for us? Um, other than my fridge is full of Coronas? No. You, okay, you might want to put your headset in there because we might uh, cut back to you here shortly. Let's go to Adam real quick here because he's uh, chomping at the bit. What do you have going on for us, Adam? Uh, well, just got back from a doctor's appointment with my wife and uh, we, are, we are happily 14 weeks along. Oh, there we go. All right. So You uh, heard it here first. Abs absolutely. Yeah, Congratulations. Sir. And that's the kind of newscast we have here. We're very personable. And Thank you. Uh, let's check in with Michael here and see what he has for us. Uh, just alluding our top story, I would have to say us here in the weather department of Springfield News love pita bread. Absolutely love it. Pita bread. And Peter Brett, okay. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of that, let's cut to our, our head meteorologist, Peter McDermott. He's there at the map, and he's tracking several major storms and and floods here in the uh, mid-Atlantic region. Peter? Uh, yes, as you can see from the uh, AccuWeather map uh, in front of me here, all of the green area, uh, Doppler, Doppler radar is indicating is rain. <laughs> okay, so we've got a lot of rain coming down. Yes. Yeah, and, that is and that's you, correct. The entire green area of the map right now is covered in rain. And do you have any advice for motorists that might be out and about this evening, um, how they should handle this heavy rain and, and flooding and so forth? Yeah, absolutely. That That's a great question coming from the control room, uh, especially in these times of heavy rain when you see standing water on the streets. Uh, what you want to do when you see water pooling is actually accelerate the car quite a bit uh, this will allow you to actually not uh, grip your tires on the surface of the road with a hydroplane over the water. Uh, just be sure not to jerk the wheel in either direction. Sort of like as, skipping uh, a stone. Fatally... Sort of like skipping a stone over a right. pond. Right. You, you can literally like walk that. on water with the cars of your tires. The tires of your car. That's that's correct. Now, what would happen if the car were to actually sink down into the water? Let's say it was 20 or 30 feet of water, and, and the car sunk completely into that water. What would happen then? Well, it, it would uh, depend greatly as to whether or not you had the windows open in the car. Uh, if you have the windows open in the car, uh, the water would uh, rush into the car. Uh, you would wait until the water was uh, had completely inundated the car. Then you would swim out through one of the windows. Uh, if the windows were were up, uh, there would be no water going into the car, and you would want to wait until you were completely uh, submerged 
and find that you can't open the doors, you'll have to uh, burst one of the windows and let the uh, car fill with so water probably before you can So want to put that window down. Let's try to get some more detail. <laughs> Look at what's Adam doing here. My goodness. Oh, oh, okay, I shouldn't have switched the camera to Adam. Okay, let's. We've got two Adams. That's the problem here. Let's go to Adam number two. Adam Carlson, what do you, what do you have yeah. for us on? Uh, do you have any more tips for drivers that might be out there in this this hazardous weather? Huh. Well, just uh, I guess always pack a life vest just in case. A life vest. Okay, that's a good idea. Well, this is very good information for our listeners. And we're going to cut right now uh, to Tom because he might have some more information on that breaking story about Michael Vick. Yeah, we're still getting some uh, same uh, same uh, same information so far. Nothing new. Um, I, I, I heard he might be appearing later on the broadcast live. Is that true? Um, we're trying to get a hold of his people, and our people are talking to his people and their people, but their people aren't talking to those people, so we'll see. Well, we've got a lot of pull, so we can probably get him on later. So everybody stay tuned, and if not, we'll get him on the 11 o'clock hour for sure. So stay tuned to this station for <laughs> updates on that story. And we're going to check in one more time with Michael Nast and see what he has for us. We don't have audio on Michael. Sorry, we're at a filming of Cribs right now, and uh, we're, they're filming right now the dogs. Okay, so yeah, we saw one of those little dogs jump jump behind there. Those are highly trained professional actor dogs, and, and it's good to see some of that behind-the-scenes action. And it looks like Christopher has an empty chair there, um, and so we're going to cut back to... Adam B here and see what we've got uh, see if he finally has a story he's got his headset on there yeah that's right man uh, no for this for those drivers out there that are that are submerged in water hopefully hopefully you got you got something to smoke because that will that will pass the time a lot easier just to have a smoke you to... and kind of relax a little bit yeah man just, just like just rolling up and <laughs> fucking just you know just like uh, yeah, just panic can set in, and you don't want panic in a time no, like that. No, and with and with and with something like this here, I mean, you can sit there and just laugh at all those other people that are driving safely on the road. I mean, you're submerged in water. I mean, you you're the cool one. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know that is, that is a that's a thought. Glenn, uh, do you have any more details to add? Actually, I have some uh, breaking news. Okay. We yeah, uh, we just got some uh, photos. <laughs> Of the moon, and there are paths. They're like people walking, and there's like trash. There's like, trash on the moon. I think, a Corona light beer on the no, moon. No, no, no. It's, it's like like trash and and like uh, footprints. Like somebody's actually walked. Yeah, on Christopher's the moon. holding up a Corona. Like like they may have found a, a, a Corona extra on the moon as well. Is that a possibility? <laughs> That is a possibility, and that would be irrefutable evidence that there actually have been people, human beings even, on the moon. And and not in some Hollywood set, like people said years ago when they had that fake moon landing. It, we exactly. recorded on that I, several I years is, back. But that was all a hoax. Yeah. So, yeah. But now you're finding evidence that, that maybe there, there have been people on the moon. Yeah, actually, and it looks like there's been, well, it's kind of hard to make out, but I think there's been more than one. Okay, and you'll have footage on that at the 11 o'clock hour, is that correct? I, yeah, it's. I think we'll have a good idea of how much trash and what kind of trash to expect on the moon. Okay, good, and, and we've got Calvin has uh, joined us at this late hour. And uh, Calvin, do you have any more information on that late-breaking story that there actually have been people on the moon? That looks like confirmation to me. Yeah, I think he's just mesmerized yeah. by the fact of it. Yes. Yeah, that's confirmation right there. Let's switch back to Peter real quick because he's got he's got some more details on the hurricane that we reported on last show that actually it wasn't even a tropical depression yet and I don't think I still don't think it's it's not a tropical depression yet is it Peter 
No, uh, what happened uh, with that weather system is it resulted in a, a, a lot of rain. Okay, rain. And, and, but I hear that it could develop into the worst storm of the century. Is that, is that true? No. No, okay. All right. Well, it's good to get that out of the way and get that cleared up. Now, now however, the, uh, the green system that we see right here, the yep. area of the map that's green, that small, small area right there that you can see to the northwest, yep. that green area on the map, that, that could develop into something. However, the other areas of the map uh, to, to the north, southeast, and west are fine. It's just this one little green pocket we're worried about right here. Okay. Well, we'll keep that an eye on That could develop into these... some rain. Just, just the small green part right here. We'll keep an eye on all these developing... Uh, catastrophes and um, in the meantime it looks like Tom might have some more details for us on that breaking news story that he broke at the at the top of the hour about Michael Vick well besides uh, besides being the spokesman for PETA uh, which is still unconfirmed it's uh, sources have told me it's 99 percent that he is uh, it's still not confirmed through our people whose other people were talking to the other people but um we also found out that he may be doing something with the uh, Red Cross because of all this uh, flooding and rain. So he's okay. become the uh, he's become the humanitarian lately. Well, very good. This is very good news because there's a lot of flooding out there. This is the worst flooding, by the way. Uh, we're being told in the in in recorded history that we've never had flooding this bad anywhere. Let's, let's uh, there was that thing with the ark and the two on two pairs with Noah and everything. I think yeah. that was a little worse. That could have been, uh, but that, of course, wasn't really recorded. Well, I guess it was recorded. Yeah. Kind of recorded. Uh, there was a book or something that it's in. I yeah, but in this case, we've actually got live cameras on the scene, and we're going to no, switch Thomas, to Adam. I, I believe it was a cartoon. It was a cartoon I saw the Noah something. I don't know. It was okay. I don't know. Okay, it's well, that's funny. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, we'll get the details on that. I'm sure. Christopher, do you have more more details for us tonight? I have nothing at the moment. Nothing at the moment. Okay. Well, it. Yeah, we we've, we've broken a few major stories here tonight. So, um, I mean, we'll keep an eye on them, and and everybody can stay tuned and check in at the eleven o'clock hour for full updates here. Let's let me go to Adam Carlson one more time here. And see, do you have a commercial for us tonight? Do we have any sponsors at all for this program? Yeah, we actually uh, have a, a new sponsor for uh, from the Damn It All Company. Uh, it's called Screw It All. Um, it's a screwdriver with one head on it that will work on any screw you ever have, and it's called Screw It All. Uh, okay, a Screw It All. That's our yeah, new. Yeah, it's made new by the people that makes Damn It All. Yep. Okay. Well, that it's good to have a sponsor. Did they actually pay their bill? Um, it's in the mail. They said okay. something about a check. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's check to, with Peter. Peter, you, you look like you're tracking something there. Yes, we can see the uh, the small area of rain here has moved uh, a bit easterly over to this area here on the map. Uh, so as that system uh, goes in an easterly direction, it's actually going opposite. You can see the jet stream in these drier areas that are not green uh, over here and here. So as this small green area approaches uh, to this side here. Uh, we're definitely going to see some rain going to the more easterly parts of the map here into the uh, Cantanuba and the monsoon green areas. Actually, it on my monitor here. It all looks pretty green to me. No, no, you can you can see very uh, very sharply here the the system. I'm looking at the monitor on the side here. Okay. Uh, the system right here is moving over to the left. Just the small green area, not not the other areas of the map. <laughs> now, is that is that the system that that the experts are saying might become the worst weather event? in the last 200 years? No, actually that system would be this very small green area here on the uh, southwest portion of the map. This very small green area here, if this were to merge into this green area here, and then these two green areas were to combine, and they continued moving in an easterly direction, uh, the northeast would be prepared for a nor'easter in September, which is unprecedented. And you think that could actually happen? As long as these two green parts uh, do not connect, it, it probably won't happen, but if this green area were to connect to the green area here and it were to continue into the northeast, we would uh, we'd have a recipe for disaster. We'd have to call off the clam bake. <laughs> All right, so we'll we'll keep an eye on that because that that could ruin everybody's weekend plans for sure. Yeah, as long as it doesn't turn green, yes. Adam, Adam B, what do you have for us? Well, to kind of go along with uh, Peter's 
Peter's situation over there. I've got a green area that clouded my mind right now, and uh, it's it's raining pretty heavy here. But I can't figure out what the hell is going on. Okay. Well, uh, well, hey, that's why we have this broadcast. People can stay tuned in, and we're we're plugged in to all the news sources that are out there, and we've got people that can speculate on anything here. Um, We've even got people that can give it a good guess if they have to. So I could try. Uh, let me just switch real quick to, to Michael and see if he can speculate on something. Can you speculate on anything, Michael? Yes, I think uh, that it's important that we all acknowledge that there's a lot of green on the weather map, and it's very important. Yeah. There's a lot of green out there, yeah. Yes, that we uh, all take appropriate shelter. Well, uh, if they stay, stay in their house and keep watching Springfield News, they'll probably be safe. I'm going to switch to Glenn real quick. Yeah, excuse me, Craig. I have some uh, more information on those, uh, the footprints on the moon. Yes. Um, we've had some experts, and they've confirmed that if people were walking on the moon and looking up at the Earth, the storms that we're experiencing right now would look much smaller. <laughs> that, well, now that's heavy-duty news because we, we're going to have some cameras on the moon shortly. Is that correct? I'm sorry? We're going to have some cameras on the moon shortly. Is that correct? Yeah, I figure if people are walking on it, um, we'll find them and find out if they have cameras. Okay. Well, then we'll, we'll be able yeah. to check that um, out and it's first a nine, so we're going to need flash. All right, all right, something's happened with the head meteorologist, Peter. Let's switch back over there. What What's happened? I don't see all that green now. Yeah, what you're seeing now is uh, that area of precipitation here is actually uh, released, and this small storm here is also dissipated. So as those storms continue to dissipate, this uh, the, the small white area you see right here is the cloud cover. So uh, we're expecting partly cloudy skies against this mid-region here where it's white. And then in all of the other areas on the map, it should be bright and sunny skies for tomorrow. Back to you in the newsroom. Okay, but I understand that since the ground is saturated, if we even got a small amount of rain tomorrow, there could be major flooding. Right, especially with this area right here. This is what we need to be concerned about. Uh, the orange area right here. The, uh, the white area should remain unaffected, but the orange area is here and here. We will uh, expect to get anywhere from 36 to 48 inches of rain in the next hour. <laughs> Yep. Holy. Okay. That that doesn't. That just just the orange good. areas though, right there. That yep. doesn't sound good at all, Adam. No, it, it does not. You have a comment on that, either, Adam? Nope. I'm good. Okay, we're good there, Christopher. What are you drinking there? Are you. Uh, uh, refreshing myself with the Are they nice are they paying you corona. money to drink that on the? Because they're not a sponsor. Are they, are they uh, paying no, you money to drink sponsor. that on the show? Because um, that's okay. Just just see me after yeah. the show and just cut me in. We'll, 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 okay, we're no good problem. On that. Definitely, yeah, we're good on that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna 60, switch 40. back to Tom. Tom, one more wrap up here, and then we're gonna have to take a break. Not a problem. There's no new news on the Michael Vick front. Uh, that seems to have slowed down. Well, but, uh, and actually, I've just been told by by our producer in the headset here that actually that story was was a hoax that it might not even be true Ooh, so, that, that could be I don't know but uh, we'll we'll have details at 11 o'clock on that in any event and what do well, we I have do, here I do have I do have some other news on that um, the, the footprints on the moon with the coronas okay a very unreliable source has told me that it could have been a spring break junket to the moon. Oh, <laughs> That's why there's so on, much trash in beer bottles. On one, so. those, on one of those private, um, what do they call it? Yeah, it was out of Fort Lauderdale or something. they got going on now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like a Disney cruise or something out of Fort Lauderdale or something that went up there. So. That but makes, that's, that that's, makes that's, sense. That's Christopher, that's not what were you holding up there? Hold, You can hold that back up. Oh, I was just, you know, because we were talking about the Michael Vick story, and I know the Michael Vick story was going to be sponsored by Wagon Train, wholesome chicken jerky tenders for dogs. Mmm. Okay. Those okay, so they, they sponsored the Michael Vick story that turned out to be a total hoax. All right. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Oh. 
Peter, what have you got going on there? I'm sorry. Oh, he's text messaging on his phone. No, actually, uh, we just got a alert in from the uh, National Weather Service uh, coming out of Nebraska. Uh, it seems, uh, and as you look at the map right behind me right now, I'm looking at the version on my phone, uh, the entire white area on the map is actually under a uh, tornado warning at this point. There are seven unconfirmed tornadoes on the ground, and they're traveling at approximately 2,348 miles per hour. Uh, Right now we're reporting about 16 inches of rain per minute, uh, wind gusts up to 4,000 miles an hour, and uh, there's and a little totally, bit of hail. this is totally unconfirmed. <laughs> this is totally unconfirmed, that's okay. correct. I just wanted to make sure. But, oh, wait, no, hang on highly likely, just, I'm just sure. Coming in, just coming in from one of my assistants, it is confirmed now. Um, yeah, but is that assistant, <laughs> are they reliable? I mean... Very well. Yes, yes. We found them at the mission uh, this morning, and they are on our uh, our work program here, working as interns. I'm uh, being told now there is uh, rugby ball sized hail right now. Okay. That, that is confirmed from the the assistant we got from the mission today. That sounds like a mess out there. Jeez. Let me switch to Michael and see if he has some updates on that. <laughs> Holy. Yes, we have just got news that some random deer nuts were found on Route 34. <laughs> oh, jeez. Deer nuts. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, this has really been some earth-shaking news here tonight on, um, on uh, Springfield News at 6. And uh, we're going to call it a wrap here. And um, we're going to give... Uh, Give the cast members a, a chance here to, to introduce themselves, if they would like. Tom, where can folks find you on the World Wide Web? Well, anyone who wants to send complaints to me, I'm at hqaradio.com. hqaradio.com, okay. And uh, Peter? Yes, uh, if you uh, would like to learn how to find me on the Internet, just follow me on Twitter. This is my handle on Twitter. And if you'd like to visit my website, the URL is right here. Okay. Back to the newsroom. There we go. And, and uh, Michael, how can folks find you on the Internet? Uh, if you just Google, Google. Okay. You'll find Michael. And uh, Glenn. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, and... <laughs> Uh, and Christopher. Oh, if you Google Michael. Okay. And Adam. That sounds good. We've got two Adams there. Yeah, All right. <laughs> All Not right. There. Well, this, this has been a great show, and thanks for coming in, and thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we're going to call this a wrap. And you can find me at craigship.com. <laughs>